Hello, welcome to additions to the collection. So I haven't done a video for a few days because it's been really hot and I've had some other stuff on and I've just had to like take the time to sort of like deal with this heat exhaustion and just try and cool down. But um still warm, but anyway, let's um crack on. So I've got about 16 titles this month that I've picked up. Um mainly singular releases and things like that. I've got some 4Ks, Blu-rays, some sets. Um some of it I've already shown in separate videos, but anyway, we'll probably start with the Blu-rays, then finish off with the 4K. So shouldn't even be that long a video, really. Um, also got this cool Killer Clowns from Outer Space um, T-shirt from Gutter Garbs. Really nice. Don't know if you can see it there. Really nice T-shirt. It's black, though, so it's a little bit warm as they're such good quality. Like They're not exactly the thickest shirts. Like They're a good material and comfortable, but it's still quite a warm one with it being black from a hot day like this but anyway um let's get on with the um update so yeah lots of good pickups um i haven't got around to watching everything um, a lot of films i've picked up i've seen before it's just upgraded to 4k um i need to get around to actually watching the 4k disc but we'll start with this one so i believe this is one of my two arrow video pickups for this month for um, june and that's night siren um pretty good movie witchcraft movie you know modern folk horror tells the story of this woman who um, left her mother, who supposedly was a witch when she was younger. Um, she accidentally turns around and her sister falls off a cliff and dies. Years later, she's back to the village where she grew up. And um, yeah, weird stuff starts happening. People suspect her of being a witch. And it all sort of like kicks off towards the end of the um, film. But I didn't enjoy Night Siren. It was all right, like pretty good. Um, first hour was better and then after that it kind of slows a little bit and whatnot. Um, I also picked up, I did have the um, Second Sight trilogy set, but I picked up the first basket case on um, 4K. So I wanted the other two movies on individual release. So I picked up the Synapse releases of um, Basket Case 2, which I haven't cracked open yet. I may even just quickly do that so we can get rid of the glare. But yeah, I wanted to get the Synapse um, releases. They're not 4K, they're Blu-rays, but they're really nice releases and I love the artwork on them. So they were kind of must buys for me and um, the price was really good for both. Like, really, you know, like couldn't, couldn't fault it. I'll try and get in as quick as possible with the removing of the plastic. So if you can just get in there, I'll give you a little look at the disc and whatnot. There's a close up look, basket case too. Look at that artwork, bit of a glare on it, but crazy good artwork. And there's a look at the um, back. Another Frank Hennen Lotter film. They're all from Frank Hennen Lotter, really good. Then you've got the um, disc in there, basket case too, and a catalogue for um, Synapse. They do that Synapse. It also has alternative art for basket case too, which is that one, if I can just hold it up, that one. So, little unboxing there for you. But yeah, basket case two, and then also from Synapse, I picked up the individual release of basket case three, again with stunning artwork, and I just wanted these on individual because I had the first film on an individual 4K. I thought, well, I might get rid of the set and just have individual editions. They're region free as well, as far as I know. Yeah, all region, these basket case sequels on um, Synapse. So look at the back. Another catalogue in there. And then, of course, the disc. Basket case three. And, the, and actually, the alternative artwork's what's on the disc. So no need to... Um, pull that out don't mind the basket case sequels i'm um, nowhere near as good as the first film um they get progressively worse i think i think two's a little bit of a step down although it does have some interesting creature creations in there which does sort of make up for it being a bit of a downgrade from the first film narratively but then the third film's just utter chaos and there's loads of creatures and stuff which is kind of fun but I just don't like the story as much as the first one also picked up a standard release of Infinity Pool. No 4K of this yet in the like, UK, so I just picked up the Blu-ray. I'm happy to have it on Blu-ray. Good film. Um, from, um, who is it? Brandon Cronenberg, David Cronenberg's son. It's like a weird one. You know, some weird body horror in there as well as like just strange um, commentary on things and stuff. He's basically been um, indoctrinated into like some sort of weird gang and um, of people, group of people. Mia Goff's character's... Um, really good like really puts in a funny performance as well when she's kind of like heckling him and um taunting him when he's walking um in front of the car it's hilarious like just to watch her just like give him a load of um a load of verbal abuse basically but yeah it's a good film infinity pool i did enjoy it 
need to get need to get around to watching it again. Another one I picked up was a Terminator sequel that I didn't have, and that is Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. Um, I remember watching this at the cinema sort of vaguely, like twenty years odd years ago. Be damned if I can remember the narrative and things, but I know obviously it's got the female um, cyborg in there, who's um, or Terminator, the female Terminator robot, who's coming after. Um, I forget his name now. Damn. Uh, John Connor, <laughs> you forgot to, yeah, coming after John and his girlfriend, and then obviously Arnie's back as well, and um, yeah, I remember it being okay, but it's nowhere near as good as the Terminator in T2, Judgment Day, but I thought I'd pick it up, really good price, bought it for like £5 second hand, so it's a pre-owned release, but it's in mint condition, and it was like £5, so I thought, why the hell not? Another Blu-ray now that I picked up, paid quite a bit for actually, Zipper Face, um, Bought it from like Treasured Films or somewhere like that, or Film Treasures, one of the two. I think there's two of them. Um, this is just a retro, uh, old slash, it's not even meant to be. Well, it is a retro slasher, but it's not made to look, it's not a new film that's made to look like an old film. It's an old film from 1992, I believe. Yeah, 1992, so it's a really like, got a lot of like, you know, like sort of early 90s aesthetics, got an 80s kind of look to it with it being just from 92, so they're only two years into the decade, but quite a disappointing one. It basically focuses on all this cop drama surrounding the um, zipper face killer rather than the zipper face killer himself, and the reveal's not very good, and the kills aren't very good. I mean, look at that cover, it's absolutely stunning. You'd think it's going to be full of like gore and loads of um, decent decapitations and great kills, but it's really not. The kills are actually quite subtle, really. Zipper face, yeah, didn't like it at all. Show you the alternative art, the alternative, oh, it's the same. Yeah, this is a German edition, so they have the same art, but without the certificate, so I swapped it around. There's zipper face anyway. There's a video sort of where I talk about that on the channel on the previous episode of um, Slashy Trashy. Great one I picked up was the standard edition of The Sacrament from um, Ty West, who did House of the Devil and um, X and Pearl, and he's doing Maxine, which is coming out soon. But this is this is a really good cult movie, you know, about this cult um, who have set up like a sort of colony, like out in the um, remote like rainforest, you know, on a bit of land. This um, the Vice crew go there making a documentary. One of them um, with one of the members of the crew is also looking to. Um, meet up with his sister once again and basically like shit hits the fan when um he decides that everybody that they're going to be invaded and everybody must um basically um commit suicide together in a mass suicide attempt and um yeah it really breaks down good film the sacrament really enjoyed it another blu-ray edition i picked up was a limited edition and that was the uh, Gonjayam Asylum, um, fan footage from 2018, um, I was really looking forward to it, fantastic set by the way from Second Sight with the art cards and the Amore and the book, fantastic edition, film not very fantastic, um, didn't enjoy this one at all, I thought it was like quiet by the numbers and very repetitive, every room looked the same, like the aesthetic was boring, it was just these dreary rooms and then I, I know I said on my unboxing that and review that this is like an inferior version to Grave Encounters. Well, I actually went back and re-watched Grave Encounters the day after I watched this. And Grave Encounters is so much better. I'll talk about that on my own what I've watched video. But Grave Encounters is done so much better than this film. Both of them being haunted asylum films. One of them um, is um, Korean, which is this one. I believe it's Korean anyway. And um, the other one's American. I think or Canadian I think it might I think it's American Grave Encounters and um, Grave Encounters is so superior to this film it's just got the rooms look better the buildings better aesthetically more like riveting the storylines better the dialogues better um, yeah I didn't enjoy going to Gonjaim Asylum at all and I'm a, I'm a big fan footage fan as well and I did not not enjoy that I will keep the release because it's a good release to have and stuff but whoo sweating but I didn't I, whew, this long hair don't help in the summer i'll tell you that much um double dipped and picked up house by the cemetery from arrow this is the limited edition 4k set gorgeous edition i do have the blue underground which is the copy that i watch but i just wanted to have this one as well because i'm such a big fan of the movie so there's a little look at that yeah such a fantastic movie from fulci um love most things about it 
Um, I mean, the kid Bob's a little bit annoying with his crap dubbing if you watch the dubbed version. But other than that's that does add to kind of the, some comedic value to it, though. It does add some comedic value. But um, I just love the story of Dr. Freudstein, you know, the soul like zombie reanimated corpse in the basement coming after people. And there's just some gruesome gore, of course, signature Fulci gore. And it's just, yeah, House by Cemetery, just one of the best Fulci films I think out of the and one of the best in the Gates of Hell trilogy but all three of those films are good anyway um picked up Night of the Comet the Scream Factory edition got the one with the alternative slip and the poster really enjoyed re-watching this um looked great in 4k fun film good 80s um action yeah really fun sci-fi horror Night of the Comet I'm so glad to have it on 4k especially with that lovely um slip cover um another one I picked up the Case of the Bloody Iris is from Celluloid Dreams. They did a fantastic job on this. The 4K looks absolutely stunning. The film's really good. It's a really good giallo piece. Um, might not be to everybody's taste or liking, but I felt it was, um, I think it's really well done. And um, yeah, it's got like beautiful women in it. It's got like a good score. There's good murders. So, you know, it's a good murder mystery giallo. All sorts going on, you're kind of like clueless to who the killer's going to be, you know, that's what you want from a giallo, and this one's no exception, and I just love this edition. So nice. Great slip as well on that. And just pop that back. Um, finally got around to picking up The Crow, picked up the standard, even got a nice slip with it like this, looks fantastic. Just a little look underneath, just the same artwork but not shiny, but yeah, you get a lovely slip with the standard edition, yeah. Never seen this film before. I thought I had, but I hadn't actually seen it. I may have even seen the sequel, like City of Angels, which doesn't even star Brandon Lee like years ago when I was a kid on TV. But I've never actually seen the original Crow because I put it on yesterday and I thought, no, nothing's coming back to me at all. I, I mustn't have seen it. And um, I thought it was a great film. Love the whole gritty, dark aesthetic in the city. You know, it's kind of raining majority of the time. So everything's kind of dreary and drab. But like, it's so like, got such great like gothic atmosphere and like tone to it. And um, seeing... um. Eric uh, Draven get his revenge revenge on the um, villains is so good as well. You know, some great fight scenes, great violence. Um, one scene in particular is great when there's a big gun showdown in the um, club towards the end. You know, when he's taking on a bunch of the bad guys in the room. They've all, all these like mob bosses have been at the table and um, with the mob bosses after him because he's killing all the people that he's avenging what happened to him and his girlfriend. And there's just a great showdown, you know, even even the crow. Eric Draven gets some guns and starts firing and shooting people up and that because he doesn't just fight with fight with his um, fists. He gets some um, artillery as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And um, I thought that was a great gun battle. And then the final scene in the um, cathedral is just amazing. Um, reminded me of um, Batman 89 a little bit when they're going up the stairs, you know, and it's got the bell and stuff like what Batman does with Joker in that. But, but done very differently in the crowd, of course, they're in a huge cathedral and um, yeah. It's going to be the final showdown. Then there's a good showdown on the roof in the rain. Fantastic. Yeah, love The Crow. Really dark, really gritty, aesthetic. Very dark film, very dismal looking, but great nonetheless and a brilliant first time watch. Um, another 4K I picked up is an old favourite of mine, Training Day. I think this is from like 2001 or something. I haven't got around to watching the 4K yet, but I saw it at such a good price. I thought I'll snap this up. I did buy it pre-owned, so I think it's been watched once, but it's in mint condition and it's such a good film. Denzel Washington, Ethan Hawke, um, Denzel basically, the two cops aren't there, he's the crooked one, Denzel Washington, and he's sort of like the rookie, Ethan Hawke, and Denzel takes him under his wing and he's trying to corrupt him and showing him the ropes and showing him around the city and he's got a lot of control over things and he's kind of like, you know, the head honcho and stuff, but it does meet a sort of like, um, his sort of like moment of reckoning towards the end, um, but yeah, great character played by Denzel Washington, I do love I do love his acting in this film. It's utterly fantastic. From what I can remember, I haven't seen it for many a year, but I have got the Blu-ray as well, but I thought I'd upgrade it. And um, like I say, Denzel Washington just, just puts in the performance of his career. This and American Gangster are probably my favourite Denzel Washington films easily. But Training Day is Training Day's awesome. It's even got um, some appearances from like rappers like Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre in there. So, like it says, music stars, Macy Gray. It's set in L.A., they're like they're narc detectives, narcotics um detectives as well. Yeah, good film training day. Need to rewatch it, need to refresh myself a little bit with it. Um another old favourite I picked up on 4K, so it's an upgrade from Blu-ray, was Blade. And I haven't even watched my Blu-ray. I've not seen Blade for like over 15 years, I don't think. Or Blade 2. 
or Trinity, which I don't didn't really like. But um, anyway, picked up. I think this is from 1998. Um, classic Marvel movie. Um, it's on Warner Brothers. But um, yeah, I know they're redoing it as well. They're making a new Blade film. Marvel Studios are. So I'm quite intrigued with that. I'm not a big Marvel fan, but I'm very intrigued to see what they do with Blade. This is great. It's gory vampire slaying action. Wesley Snipes is fantastic as Blade. Um, just a great sort of vampire slaying romp. Yeah, I love Blade. Fantastic. So glad I upgraded that one. Um, I picked up a singular release of The Godfather. Um, I just wanted this release because it's got such good artwork. So picked it up. I do have the set as well, but I wanted to get the individual release because I just saw it at a good price and I love, the, I love that picture there. Which looks fantastic. Yeah, great film, The Godfather. You know, you got so many good notorious scenes in there. Haven't got around to watching it on 4K yet, but I will do it at some point. So many notorious scenes, like the horse's head in the bed. There's a cool scene at the, um, what do you call it? Like the toll booth, the empty, abandoned toll booth where they all, all the men like pop up with the guns and start firing at the car. That's really good. Classic, though, The Godfather, classic Marlon Brando. And finally, I upgraded a Blu-ray which I had because the Blu-ray didn't work um, towards the end. It started freezing and I was watching the film and I thought, you know what, I like this film a lot. I'm just going to get the 4K and that's Super 8. I didn't think I'd think much to it, but I was super impressed by it. No pun intended with it being Super 8. But like, yeah, such a good film from J.J. Um, Abrams and produced by Steven Spielberg. So it's got Spielberg's hands on fingerprints on it. So, And you can kind of tell. So I think it's set in like the, was it 80s or 90s? I can't quite remember. Um I think it's set in the 80s, but very, very got that kind of nostalgic feel to like an older film. You know, it feels like it's a film from the 80s. Cool storyline about this big alien on the loose and he's like killing people and eating them. And these kids are trying to figure out what's going on. And they're like got footage of it and things like that. They're actually out making a movie as well when all this stuff starts to occur. Such a fun film, Super 8. Really enjoyed it. So there's my... Um, pick up so not the biggest haul and it's not the bit longest video but that's what i picked up um favorites i've probably picked up would be like night of the comet on 4k um double dipping on house by the cemetery the crow blade so many good pickups this month like like i say not the most pickups i've ever got but such a good such a good month of pickups looking forward to what's being released in the next couple of months um i actually just went and ordered the um i figure i they never used to, i don't think you used to be able to order directly from umbrella in the uk you know going back about a year ago i think i tried and i couldn't do it and then i've just come on to the fact that in the uk now you can order from umbrella entertainment so i've just gone and ordered the hell house so and i love those films i watched them on shudder i've seen them all i've even got the first one on um itunes i've just gone and ordered the hell house llc box set from umbrella which is out on the 9th of october so there'll be an unboxing and a review of that set at that you know in a couple of months like three months or so but yeah i was really happy i I, I didn't know I, I was on the fence a little bit i figured out that i could get it shipped to the uk and then i thought oh shall i shall i spend it because i could buy a lot of blu-rays with like the money that it cost like 130 or whatever but i thought you know what no i'm gonna get that set because i'm sure it's a sure it's a must-have like prime set to have and um i did i'm looking forward to other releases as well that are coming out um what's actually coming out silence of lambs 4k in august that'd be cool there's some good stuff from 88 coming in the next couple of weeks um looking forward to that as well so anyway thanks for watching um yeah i'll see you on the next one so that was my monthly haul additions to the collection i'm sat here pouring with sweat because it's so hot and yeah it's time for me to go so thanks for watching bye <laughs>